we were kind of talking about it outside, and, and I know it's like it's not it's not something that like you like want to like talk about too much. But like, what was your relationship with Peep? How did you guys meet? Like, I'm curious. You know what I'm saying? Like, did was it like an internet thing? Did you guys meet in? Yeah, day? I mean everything's an internet thing these days. But like, the thing with uh with Peep is uh it was it was early. I can't remember if it was like late 2015. Or early 16, it was like right around that December time or whatnot. He hadn't even joined Scheme of Posse. I just chopping it up with him. This is right around the time, too. Like, Star Shopping only had like five, six, seven thousand plays, that's you know? That's fucking insane. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's early, but beyond that, it's like I, I always like prided myself in scouting talent on uh, SoundCloud. So it's just immediately I happen to be blessed to hear it before a lot of people. Alright, boom, back at it again, another interview, Mars Three Times, 1 AM Radio, South by Southwest, and uh, today I'm here with a special guest, I got P2 the Gold Mask, what's up bro, how you doing? What's happening bro? Chilling man, um, so you got like a super interesting story, and I'm, I'm a little confused about your origin, so where, where are you from? Shit, I'm from Stuttgart, Germany. Okay. But you know, I I come from San Antonio. You know, like. So you were born in Germany. Yeah. How and I was there. You? I was there probably till I came here. Probably about six years old. You know. Okay. Okay. And well, like, how? Why was your fan? Like, what's the the backstory behind being in Germany? Shit, military. Military. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Makes a little more sense. So then you moved to San Antonio. And then, like, how was your upbringing? In, in Texas? Shit. I mean, I don't know how to explain that. You know, everybody got a hood, but it's like, I come from Marbot. So if you, you know anything about San Antonio, you know about Marbot, you know? So, and well, it's funny that Marbot? it's named Marbot. It's just a block, you know? It's a, you know, I don't, it, it's, it's just a little hard block. Like, it, you know, it's hard times, you know? So, but it's funny it's called that because, you know, I'm coming from Germany. And then it's a it's a German name, you know? Yeah. So. That, no, that is interesting. Um, Okay, so you were a, a professional basketball player? Yeah. Yeah, I don't even be touching on that much. I mean, if you've seen an interview here or there, yeah, yeah, you I heard mean, me talk about it. Yeah, I did a little research, but I kind of wanted to, like, dig deeper into it. So, I mean, I imagine you played high school and then you played college yeah. ball and then... And then you went overseas to to play basketball? Uh-huh. And what was that like? Shit, it was love. It's like, you know, I love it because I got to explore the world. You know what I'm saying? I got to see a lot of places. Where, where, where exactly did you play? Shit, I played in Finland, Italy, Rwanda. Like, I played a lot of places in the Middle East. You know what I'm saying? And then also Africa. I played in Libya. Uh, shit, I played in Mexico. I played and got down. And what's like what's what's playing overseas basketball like? Is it a lot different from playing basketball here in America? I mean, it, if it's pro, it's pro. You know what I'm saying? It's like it ain't easy. Everyone don't get there or whatever. You know. So. And then okay, so then what was the decision you made when you were like, okay, I'm gonna walk away from basketball and start making music, or were you already making music? I mean, that shit, that shit came by way of default, really, you know what I'm saying? You be out there, you be making good money, but all that money don't always come to you, you know what I'm saying? So after a while, you start feeling like, shit, it's dry a little bit, you know? Like, nigga love the hoop or whatever, but at the same time, I'm coming home, and I'm investing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm getting back out there with it, I'm, you know, hustling, whatever, so... Money wise, it wasn't making sense to me at the time. Like, so I like fuck it, and then I started fucking. With, you know, really like nigga was listening to Lil B and shit and OJ and just I don't know music at the time. It just seemed like something to do, and I started fucking with it. And then people was fucking with it, so I just was like fuck it, you know, because it can't basketball is no longer a money thing. Yeah. So so you're playing. Were you already recording music while you're playing basketball? Or was yeah. Just towards the end of it, like. I forgot to mention, like, Dubai, Jordan, mm -hmm. all that. Like, my last years was in Dubai and Qatar. Like, I'm already recording music, trying to shoot little videos and shit for 
at the time I just start fucking with or wanting to fuck with Mishka, which now I'm like family with Mishka. I've dropped numerous mixtapes through him and and whatnot, collaborated. Um, I was trying to get at them, so I was out there shooting videos, trying to be on some, you know, extravagant shit, whatever. But really, I'm not even focusing on what I got to do the next day, like a game or whatever. Yeah. So it just it, it started making sense to let it go, and so music just naturally became some. And then I was like, you know, at the end of the day, I don't, I don't be tripping off the fame. I came in like the bass era, like, you know, like your little B's, Antoine's, little ugly man's. Like it was just a different time where people weren't so judgmental. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. I don't care nothing for the fame. I want people to fuck with like the art. So I'm going to just jump in here and see what I could do, see if I could be interesting or whatever. So that's how it came. I, I think it is interesting with you because, like, usually, like, like no shade to anybody else, but, like, usually, like, athletes aren't, like, the best rappers. No, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> I mean, what you got to work with, goddamn, you know, Kobe or some shit. But you know what? That, that, that shit ain't true. We be looking at athletes like niggas that's, like, super entertainers, like, the best of the best type shit. But when you think about it, if you come from the hood, if you hoop or you – you just a regular nigga. No matter how it go, you you was beating on your lunch table with a brush. Niggas was flowing. You know I, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I think I think I mean also it's like part more of the like professional athletes just Facts. because because they don't really have time to do anything else. Nah, you don't. But you see how it did me. I had to cut one off to to fuck with the other. And especially when it come to like it be my type of little little trap talk or whatever. But at you can't talk about nothing you ain't living that type of way. So at the time, I'm just I'm kind of transitioning into to living that way again type shit so it's like it just made sense like you know it, yeah. it just kind of happened organically or whatever basketball is just the time end on that like yeah no i feel you um so what made you decide to like conceal your identity or at least wear the mask when you perform and stuff shit number one i fuck with doom Daft Punk, like just different shit. It was a way to immortalize myself and a way to be able to diversify when it's time. Like, you know, like I could, when you look at Superman, you look at, uh, and I don't want to say Superman necessarily, but Batman and certain other shit, you, you, you just like them. You don't judge them as a person. You don't even think Bruce Wayne for the most part or whatever. It's just like, it's a character. So I want to just be judged off the art or whatever I could create my product. Yeah, so you don't want it to be like how you look or... Yeah, because look at Lil Wayne. He wanted to do rock music. Like, he really wanted to do that. But shit, you know Lil Wayne from being a hot boy. So you not really... It don't fucking translate when you see him trying to... You think he either clout chasing or he on some other shit, you know? But with me, I can maneuver in and out of whatever I want to do, like, organically. Nobody going to feel no type of way because it's more like a character. So that's how I played. Yeah, no, I know. I get that. Um, and you say you're like real inspired by Little B, like, or at least like, I don't know. Are you real inspired by Little Super. B? Super. So like kind of kind of like describe like, like how would you describe your sound? I don't know. It's, it's <laughs> based. It, yeah, it's always going to be based because that's what it came from. Like I, I it's not I, I don't got no respect for like the quality of music making. It's just that. I feel shit more on an emotional level. Like, I feel like people, they connect with, like, that D DIY shit, do-it-yourself shit. Like, I like if I hear some shit out of a garage or a closet. Just as long as the emotion or passion put into it, like, it's just some more organic shit. You could feel what they was feeling, you know? So I, I, I attribute that to Lil B. So I would say I take from that. But really, it's a lot of artists around that 2010 to 2012 era. Like like young God. Yeah. Oh man, stop playing. <laughs> For real. Think you could fuck with young God. You can't. Where's my favorite place to go? The bank. Yo, um, I actually I, I just remember something. I was watching another interview with you and, and, and I mean I don't know how deep you want to go in into it with me, but um you were saying that um and I don't want this to sound weird, but it's it's something that you said uh you said that um like black people aren't even from this planet, man. <laughs> I kind of want you to like we, you know that shit's funny because it's like we be into like you know I'm older now like we be into a lot of conspiracy shit. We be dry as hell a lot of times, but we just be seeing different like 
mythology and different shit. And I sometimes I just be trolling, like, you know, online or whatever. But a lot of that shit, like, as a person older and having the knowledge of having knowledge, like, that shit be dry. I just be trying to get, like, a reaction out of something. So it, it depends on what you're talking about. If it's some conspiracy, I, shit, I mean, maybe it know. is some conspiracy shit, but I'm just trying to understand it. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to dig deeper into it because I, I I've never heard that conspiracy. Yeah, I mean, I I don't even know which one it was. Clearly, like you know what I'm saying. Like, black people ain't from this planet. I don't know who's from this planet. Like, I don't know who's indigenous to this shit. Like that would I would be a dickhead to like go too deep into that when I ain't done all the research. I feel it. But it'd be like dry trolling. Yeah. You know? Wait, how do you feel about the flat earth? Oh, that's see, that's a whole nother thing. I feel like the earth is flat. Y'all could quote me on that. I feel shit. like it I feel like it could be too. You okay, I should have asked you that because you know when somebody they don't agree on that shit, they go super hard and it's like I feel like you're 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 gonna be in a loony bin. You feel like I'm gonna be in it, like you know. Like at the end of the day, like I got my reasons why. Like you know, God said that there's a firmament, like you know, a dome over us. And not only that, you can never go high enough to a point where you see a curvature. Like that shit come from like go. It comes from a lens which is man created. Like you know, it was created for that purpose. How you feel about NASA? Uh, I feel like it could totally just have been like a conspiracy to take our money. Yes, it, that's a fact. But it's like I'm see I'm like so like on the fence about it, but I feel like it's I f the the reason that I think it though like the th think the way I do is because like whenever you tell somebody the earth is flat, they're like, yeah, like you said, you're in the fucking loony bin, you yeah, know? Yeah, facts. But like I, I I think it's like I think it's ignorant to just count out the possibility. You know, like if if the universe goes on forever, then like the possibilities are endless. But at the same time, it's like, if the Earth is flat, is there a universe? But that's what I'm saying. So thank you. You did all that just to get to that end point. And it's like, motherfuckers made all this shit up. Like, at the end of the day, it's like, when it come to, um, shit should have archaeological or historical, like, like, evidence. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you should go back to, you know, and with certain things, there is none of that. So why should we be... Why should we be believing that? Like, you yeah, know, I mean, we're any footage that you've seen of the fucking moon landing and all that corny shit, like, your eyes are seeing that they, they just showed that the shit a hoax, but you don't want to believe it. Like, why? You know what I'm I, saying? I think I think it, like, like so we, we already... We don't have no evidence of that shit, neither. To be honest with you, outside of CGI and yeah. shit that's, like, man-made, created, and we know that for a fact, because yeah. we're... They I mean, created even, the shit even, 30, even, 40 years ago, and we're so far beyond that that we can pinpoint that shit. Like, you know when shit's Photoshop. You know when certain things I mean, aren't right. I mean, even NASA admits that, like, the photos are doctored because you can't get a picture like that in space. Nah, you can't. They, they fucking got the, the Hubble telescope or whatever taking a picture of itself. Like, come on. Like, what the fuck took a picture of the telescope? Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's corny shit. Like, sometimes... You, you, Everybody in this room probably thinks we're crazy, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it, the shit's crazy because you 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 think you feel disrespected that you know they think that you're that dumb, like you know. But back in the day, before the internet and shit, when media was like controlled, like they could get away with that shit. They can't no more. Like someone on the internet asked me, they was like, "Why you fuck with the uh, why you fuck with YouTube when you looking for information? Why? Because that's where all the independent thinkers is at." Yeah, there's other, you know, corporate shit, but that's where the independent, anything that we could get access to, you know what I'm saying, just on our own, that's where the real shit's at. Yeah. So I just couldn't understand. When he didn't understand that, I knew I couldn't have no argument with how, him. How about this, though? How do you feel about the flat earth being like a side op? Like, the government's just, like, doing that to distract us from, like, what the fuck they're really doing. I mean, they're really, they're, that's a given. They're distracting us from whatever. But, I, you know me, I don't be caring about that shit because, to be honest with you, I'm not the nigga that's here for that. Like, you know, certain people, they feel a type of way about shit because it's in their heart or something to do something about it. Or they have the means or platform to do something about it. Right now, I'm going to keep it funky. Like, I'm trying to feed. I, I just had a son. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my household straight. And that's really all that's on my mind. When we be on that shit, that's why I said we be dry. Like, it's cool to obtain some knowledge, but I'm not in a position to do shit about none of the shit that I be discovering. You feel me? So I'm just, it is what it is. Yeah, no, you know? Let's Denzel know. or somebody got to save us. You know what I'm saying?
I'm in this bitch like Tyrese and Baby Boy. I'm just trying to make it. <laughs> um, let's uh, let's talk about Marbach for a second. That's like your your brand. Yeah, it's my brand and it's my block. Like a lot of greats come from that block. My man from the block. Um, just any any history we got in the town, it kind of it, it kind of come from that block. Like I told you, it's a tough. I don't want to be on no shit. Like everybody blocks be tough. Or, 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 you know they be legit. They be solid. But it's just a solid block, and it produced a lot of solid niggas. Like, so, and then I just I I decided to jump out here and just you know display it to the world. And I'm gonna keep it funky. You know who put me on that was uh I was listening to a lot of Dom Kennedy at the time. You know he was putting on Lamert and whatnot, and it's just like shit. Why not put on my block? You know. So. Yeah. No, definitely. Um, hold on. I got some I got some notes here. I want to drink my beer so bad, man. Yeah, we could, I, could cut the, I could cut this part out. <laughs> you oh. see them jeans right there? Them hoes fire. When you when you're shooting your videos, since since you always since you're always like wearing the mask and shit, like you have to do like extra stuff. Like, did you think about like before you before you put the mask on and started rapping? Did you think about sh- how you're gonna shoot videos? I mean, nah, I never really thought about shit, but I know before. When we were fucking around with it, like before the mask, I used to be fucking up all my words and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, when the mask so I the put mask, on, it so was, the mask wasn't wasn't like it from the jump. Nah, it wasn't. It wasn't from the jump, jump. But it ain't nothing around from that time. Like that was just us fucking did around. You, did you go under a different name, or it was always? Nah, it was a different name. I don't want motherfuckers digging and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was dry as hell. Like, if you ever seen ASAP Rocky shit, like, imagine that shit times, like, four. So, yeah. But, nah, it it it, it came from, like, I, like I said, I just want to be known for the art. Like, because, you know, I got a whole nother life where I was really doing something. And it's, like... And I I just wanted to start from zero, you feel me? Like, really, like, imprint myself in this shit and not use my other life as clout because that's, like, something we talk about off camera. Like, you're going to be like, what the fuck? Like, you you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. So that's really it right there. Like, I'm, I'm the type of nigga I like to do shit from the mud. Like, it don't make me nothing. I did it once so I could do it again type shit. So I ain't, I ain't need one thing to carry over into the other. And just like you said, you don't want to equate this with this because it ain't never really turned out right. I'm about to be the first nigga to make that happen. But, you know, my roots is different. Like, these niggas, they from different shit. Like, no yeah. disrespect, but it's just a little different. Yeah. We were kind of talking about it outside, and, and I know it's, like, it's not, it's not something that, like, you, like, want to, like, talk about too much. But, like... What was your relationship with Peep? How did you guys meet? Like, I'm curious. You know what I'm saying? Like, did was it like an internet thing? Did you guys meet in yeah. the day? I mean, everything's an internet thing these days. But like, the thing with uh with Peep is uh it was it was early. I can't remember if it was like late 2015 or early 16. It was like right around that December time or whatnot. He hadn't even joined Scheme of Posse. I just chopping it up with him. This is right around the time, too. Like, Star Shopping only had, like, five, six, seven thousand 7,000 plays, that's you know? That's fucking insane. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That it's early, but beyond that, it's like I, I always, like, prided myself in scouting talent on uh, SoundCloud. So it's just immediately I happen to be blessed to hear it before a lot of people. So immediately I hit him up like, yo, whoop, whoop. And to my amazement, he's responding back to me. He's my fan. He's been listening to my music and like this is something like off camera I could show you like you know the DMs and this and that. But that's like I said, it's just I don't like speaking on him because it's like he's great and he's always gonna be great. But I feel like people say his name too much. But when it comes to me and him, I, I don't have nothing more to say about him than he's one of the uh most solid niggas that I just ever like, in, in, interacted with, you know? Like, I could tell that he's the type of guy that did something for everyone around him. Like, you know? And not just to get it out the way, but to actually help you. Like, little do people know, like, okay, so we got a song on Spotify right now. It should have almost at, like, 8 million, right? I got three different versions of that song from him. 
You feel me? Yeah. Like three different he, verses. Because on the first one, you got to think at the time, I, I, I'm feeling like I'm somebody and he know of me like type. So I'm like, the first time he sent it, it was a little bit like basic to me. Like, you know, the second time he sent it back, it was like, boom. You feel me? And then it was the third time that he sent it back. It was because he wanted to do something different on it. When he sent the third one back, it went, it, it's a timeless song. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that he did that for me, you know, like, I, I bet you can't find nobody that say that he shorted them of a feature. He did this. He's just a solid dude, you know, and, and for no other reason than that's just who he is. Yeah. And that's all I have to say about him. Now, any other shit that we spoke about, you know, back then, and because you got to think, like, this is all the way back at, like, 2000, early 16, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, then he's, boom, Scheme and Posse, then they're on to their own thing, you know, on to GBC and whatnot. Like, during that time, there's no communication and there's no nothing, but that's how it go. Like, I don't be tripping on, like, you know, if I don't grow up with niggas, it's just like, you know, as long as we keep it respectful and it's a mutual thing, woo woo. Like, if I'd have seen him later on in life, it'd have been like, man, thank you. Like, you know, and just love, because that's what, that's all he gave me, respect and love. And I, I'm willing to bet that's all he gave anybody. You feel me? Yeah, I do. So that's all I got to say about him, just a solid individual, a timeless individual, generational, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas compare people to uh, rock cats and, and motherfucking uh, alternative shit from the 90s, emo shit, punk shit from the 90s, but... He really lived up to that shit and was going to transcend. Like, he's somebody that all of them guys would have been proud to pass the torch to. I agree and it with that just, 100%. that shit trash that we lost him early. But, you know? Yeah. No, for sure. Um, just to switch it up on a lighter note, what's like the, f like, what's the best introduction to your music? Like, what's the first song you should listen to? <laughs> the best introduction to my music. I don't know. It's entertainment. I'm going to keep it funky with you. No, nah, but like song-wise, song-wise, like what's the first song? Like if, if I was Nowadays like, or just ever in the catalog? Just in the catalog. Like the best, like if I were to show somebody your music, what's the first song I should show them? Uh, I would probably say 777. 777? Just because, you know, a lot of niggas rep that little... I don't want to say term or whatever, but they don't even be knowing where they're getting that shit from or none of that. You know, a lot of people don't give it up to Ocean Gang, you know, to your Cartier guys, to your young guys, to your all that. But that's something, and I guess that's why, I like, my little core base, they know, they know I stay solid to niggas. If I was ever a fan of you, I'm still a fan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, you know, I see certain people, it's 777 seven, seven this and woo woo. But it's like that shit came from somewhere. And not wherever you're trying to say it came from. It came from somewhere. Like dated before you. So Yeah. You're it, like so you're like super into numerology. Yeah, in a sense, because I see shit and it just aligned for me. It makes sense. It it make me want to bust a move on some, you know. But outside of that, I'm not too And how'd you how'd you come up with your name? Like how did the P two like what's the P two stand for? It's an older nigga in my hood. Pat one, Pat Caviel, you know, and he was he he was in a group with one of the most solid niggas from my hood, and one of the reasons like I be so proud to rep Marbach, nigga named Lavola, and this nigga, he I mean he just fresh he he fresh off what ten eleven year bid, I don't want you know talk about all his business nothing negative more positive the niggas just one of the most solid uh best rap niggas real but real street nigga like that laid the blueprint, you know? So it was nothing for me. That's why I caught with people, too. It was like somebody had to pick up the torch. And we got a young boy. I mean, he beyond me. Young nigga named Blake. I mean, it's a lot of niggas. I'm telling you, it's, a, it, it's folks coming from Marbach. So that's that's really, you know, Yeah. it's just solid. Word, word. Um, You got any projects or anything on the way? Yeah. I got Speed Racer Go. That's my next shit coming out. Uh, I was waiting on a, a feature from Fetty Wap. Like, this is going to be the biggest feature <laughs> I got. Fetty Wap yeah, feature? Yeah, <laughs> you, I love Fetty Wap. You know, my, my man told me, he was like, yo, you know, Fetty kind of been chilling. He been on Woot Woot, but I'm like, I love Fetty Wap. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's only so, so many times niggas come through and they create a sound. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that yeah, baby shit, all that. Like, that's a sound. So it's like, 
yeah, you can move on to baby, you can move on to gunner or whatever you're fucking with at the time. But if you really ever fuck with somebody, you still gonna fuck with them if they still making solid music, you know? And if you good like that, like the nigga, you know what happened with him? He he dropped an album so hot, shit had four or five uh singles on the billboard. So he sat on the album a little too long, you know? And we're in a microwave age. People want some every other month, whatever. So yeah, is that part of the reason why you, why you like dropped like almost what is it like 82, 85. 85? Yeah, it was eighty two at the time of that little interview. Yeah, so it's eighty five. Yeah, over what the last two and a half years? Facts. Nah, that shit's been over a four year span. Okay. Like since I started doing this gold man shit. But yeah, that's crazy. That's insane. Um, you got any shout outs or anything you want to say before we wrap it? Shit. First, I mean, shout out y'all. Shout out motherfucking my man Trey, the whole Marbach brand, Pella Money Game Records, my label, Iconic Music, my nigga Tony Tag, CEO. I mean, shit, all my fans, anybody fuck with me. I don't even like calling fans fams, you know what I'm saying? We family. Because if you listen to my shit, I know you fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? You listen to some motherfucking straight do-it-yourself shit. So... I mean, I said, you know, God, first and foremost, allowing me to be here. And that's really, that's that's it right there, man. We just, we pushing, man. There's more coming. This is, this is really just an introduction. Yeah. You know? No, definitely. Do you have any advice for, like, a young kid trying to come up? Like, what, what's your best advice? Yeah, man. If you're going to do this shit, go all the way with it. Like, you know, I ain't saying on no tattoo your face or no all that shit, but just dive in and shit, like. You 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 got to do it every day. You got to feel passionate about it because it will come. We in a different age. It's not like back in the day where, you know, everybody loved Wu-Tang and loved Jay-Z because the media, we only had BET or this or that to listen to. It's the internet. So if you can get hot doing what you do, somebody going to fuck with you. Like, it's somebody for everybody all around the world. So, you know, and that's everywhere. So just go for what you know. Go hard about it. Well, bro, I really, really appreciate you coming by. Thank you. I appreciate you, man. Yeah. All right. And we're out. Peace. Hey. Oh, wait, wait. Where could they find you at? Shit, you can find me on Spotify, Apple. Oh, p 2 Um, Of course, SoundCloud. You know, all the shit, all the, all the uh, Instagram, all that. You know, at p 2 the gold mask on all of those. So, yeah, fuck with me. New shit coming. Hottest shit. Boom. We're out. It's up. Peace.